Well, it's a scene we won't soon forget. Parents and students huddled outside a Glendale High School, the scene of a deadly shooting. Yeah, new at 11, ABC 15's Nick Saletti speaks with students there at Independence High School as they return to school after Friday's murder-suicide. Classes haven't even started yet here at Independence High School in Glendale, and you can see students are gathering at this memorial that's behind me. They're here to pay their respects and they're hoping to move forward after tragedy happened right here on campus Friday. Right now, so many people have the victim on their minds. May Q, the 15 year old, was shot and killed in what police are calling a murder suicide. Investigators are not releasing the name of the other student who was involved, another 15 year old girl who police say was, in fact, the shooter. Air 15 was overhead Friday, just minutes after we heard that shots were fired on campus. We spoke with May's sister also, who, as you can imagine, is absolutely heartbroken. Students here say they're trying to come together and try to get things back to normal. It just hurts my heart still. Sweet, kind, you know, they would just do stuff for people. Like, you, if you needed them, they'll always be there for you. You know, they were just so sweet, sweet, sweet girls. We know that counselors will be here today to help these students and teachers and the rest of the staff try to transition as easily as possible. Also, there's a way that you can take action for the families of the victims. We've posted a link on ABC15.com. It's for a GoFundMe page where you can help pay for the funeral expenses. Reporting here in Glendale, Nick Saletti, ABC 15.